Hello, my name is Jake Kurth. I'm with Leeds Forensic Systems. Today we've put together a quick video tutorial on how to use all the features we've built into our Discovery Series Microscope control panel. The first control to show on our Discovery control panel is our mask adjuster. It's a slider that's located directly in the middle of the bridge and as I move it from left to right it changes which side of the microscope we're looking through. You can change the thickness of this dividing line slider with the dial that's located directly to the left. As I move it to the left, it makes it thicker. As I move to the right, it gives it a thinner line. If you keep moving it further to the right, you'll actually end up getting an overlap as well. Next, I'm going to point out the three modes of the dividing line. You have mode A, B, and C. To engage these modes, hit the mode button. And then when you hit execute for mode A, it'll change the dividing line thickness between two preset thick thin lines. If you want to edit these thick and thin lines, if you hold the execute button, you can now change your thick thin lines. So let's say I want a really thick line as my first one. Now I hit execute. Now I'm going to make it a very thin line. And hit execute. And now I can very quickly switch between these two lines. The next mode to discuss is mode B. Mode B does a complete overlap. So when I hit the execute button, it completely overlaps both sides of the microscope. And when I hit execute again, it brings it back to my dividing line. The last mode to show is mode C. What this does is sweep the dividing line from left to right continuously. So when I hit execute, it'll start moving the dividing line back and forth based on where the mask adjuster dividing line is. As I move this, it'll widen up the area that's being swept. I can also increase or decrease the speed with my thick thin line adjustment over here. So as I inc increase to the right, the speed will go up. And as I decrease to the left, the speed will go down. Execute takes it out of that mode. You can also use these mode buttons to turn the camera port on and off. If you hold the mode button down at any of these modes, like now, you'll see that the B mode is a solid indicator light, a solid where the A mode's flashing. This means the camera port mode has been turned on. When I hit execute in this mode, the camera port is disengaged, and that's indicated by the C indicator light that's flashing. And when I hit the execute button again, it re-engages the photo port. To get out of this mode, I again hold down the mode button. The last two features of the control panel to go through are the aperture adjustment controls, which are located on either side of the microscope. These are exactly that, they're aperture control dials. As you increase or move the dial up, the aperture will widen up, as you decrease or move the aperture dial down, the aperture will restrict, which increases your depth of focus, but restricts the resolution and light moving through the system. Hopefully this helps explain the features of our control panel. If you have further questions, please feel free to contact us. This is also detailed in the manual that comes with your system.